You gave me butterflies. They were freshly baked today. Mmm. With some Jalcona coffee? I know this reading is for the daily for Thursday, but today is Navidad. It's Christmas in Puerto Rico. <laughs> I miss my island so much. So, Feliz Navidad for the ones that watch me today. And they are Hispanic. Feliz Navidad, my loves. We are at the States, but you know. We're still Hispanic, you know? Like my kids already know about it. I cannot get away from it, you know? They still get presents, so there was... <laughs> Anyways, let me kill this real quick, right? Because I don't want to be like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> for today's reading right and then we'll start with your reading real quick because i gotta make some pernil i mean you know today we're cooking we're going all out you know we're cooking pasteles when those pasteles are cold guess what we're frying them motherfuckers we're frying them we're not throwing them out anymore like we're excited we're excited now <laughs> Anyways, man, today's the day I wish I was in Puerto Rico, but you'll be some other time. There's some new kids in my son's class that they're Puerto Ricans. And they're trying to, you know, conversate about <laughs> about games and stuff. <laughs> so, my son is starting to learn Spanish. So, he was, you know, saying hi in Spanish and stuff like that. And then the kids started having a conversation in Spanish. <laughs> and my son is like... <laughs> I love him. At least he's trying. You know, he's he's interested in learning. He's learning. He's learning, you know. That's when you got to catch them, when they're interested. I try to teach my oldest. He's 23 now. And he, he, didn't, he wasn't interested. He got interested when he wanted to communicate with his sisters that he, he got two sisters in Puerto Rico. So when, um, when they started talking, he he learned Spanish in high school. So that was pretty cool. Anyways, you give me butterflies. And I know, and I know, and I know it will be worth the try. When I decide, when I decide. Oh, who texted me? Ooh.
purchase your trees today. What's good, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Kobe! What's happening? Welcome to Nelly's Tarot and more. Like, share, and subscribe so all your friends can find out what is good for Thursday, January 7, 2020. How you all doing? I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's having a nice Navidad today for the ones that are celebrating, you know? I think something is missing here. That coquito is hitting the spot. <laughs> now let's start with your reading. Aries. What is good with you? On Thursday, January 7, 2020. Aries, what is good with you? For Thursday, January 7, 2020. You have the Two of Swords. After that, you have the Magician. And last but not least, the Queen of Swords. What is this telling me? Aries, you getting cojones. That means courage, okay? You getting courage, all right, all right, all right? To go after your desires, you know, after your manifestations because, you know, let me tell you something about the Aries that I know. And you know, I'm not stereotyping Aries, but you know, this is an Aries trade. You know, they want this, they manifest, and when it's there, they're like, Ugh! you know, and they're, Ugh! no, no, not this time around, Aries. Not this time around, all right? You're unapologetic about what you want. And you know something, you're going after it. You're manifesting it and you're going after it, all right? New beginnings. New beginnings. That old Aries has died. I'm happy. I'm very happy, you know? <clears throat> the Ten of Pentacles. It's right there. Celebration, my love. You know. The Wheel of Fortune. So, um, you have multiple choices for you to um, increase your income. You are um, getting out of that comfort zone. And let me tell you, it's like, you know, it's like you don't need to get out of that comfort you know, it's not a big deal for you to get out of that comfort zone. That's what I'm trying to tell you, you know. So, you're doing it. You're doing it. Because before you were like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Now you'll be like, well, you know, I can make more money doing that. Because I'm, I'm good at it. I'm good at it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> you're being patient about yourself. Because, you know. It's a change. You see, after you find some things out, you notice about, you know, 
once you got knowledge about some things, you will notice about things. So that's what happened right now. <laughs> I got to get rid of that mirror. That's what's happening. <laughs> Anyways, Taurus. What is good with you? On Thursday, January 7, 2021. Did I say 2020 earlier? I think I did. Who the fuck who else is stuck in fucking 2020? I mean, we didn't even get to enjoy 2020, if you ask me. You know, it it, it I mean, I know I'm not normal, but it wasn't a normal year. <laughs> A toast for that. <laughs> Anyways. Taurus. What is good with you? For Thursday, January 7, 2020. You have the Empress. After that, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Then you have the Queen of Swords. And last but not least, the King of Cups. What is this telling me? So, um, it's talking about, I'm going to be honest with you. It's talking about somebody's mom, okay, um, having a responsibility for your person to be acting different with you okay i guess your person's mom she's used to having control of your person and ever since you in this person's life you have um this person's had gained confidence and um had opened her the person's eye to reality you know what i mean sometimes sometimes there are parents that they like to abuse of their children even if they're grown adults and your person have noticed traits about this mom okay but for some reason this mom still have some sort of control of your person and if your person is acting the way that they're acting, it's because of her. Okay? I noticed these two cards were also um, flipped. This one is strength. And last but not least, the three of wands. Which, you know, you, um, you've been definitely being strong under these circumstances and also be brave enough to address certain things with this mom okay at the end was that gonna cause is um you gonna um how you say it you letting this person know that you noticing these things and f somehow some way is gonna help you grow with your person. This relationship is going to grow with your person. Because of that. There you have it. Gemini. 
what is good with you for thursday january 7 2021 gemini what is good with you for thursday january 20 january 21 Gem what's going on with you in january 21 gemini <laughs> For Thursday, January 7, 2021. Why are you feeling heartbroken, Gemini? Why are you suffering? It's not the coquito talking because, you know, I'm drinking with a full stomach. So it's going to take a lot for me to get drunk. That's why I'm having it. It's like, you know, I have, I got the Christmas spirit. You know? I wish I was in my island right now. But, you know? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Gemini. What is good with you? For Thursday, January 7, 2021. How many cars are here? Gemini, what is good with you? On Thursday, January 7, 2020. Let's put the coffee over there. <laughs> Gemini, you have the emperor. After that, you have the lovers. Then you have the Five of Swords. And last but not least, the Four of Pentacles. What is this telling me, Gemini? Gemini. Gemini, I see why you are broken, okay? In the relationship that you're in, there was this honor, this honesty, okay? You're still holding on to that relationship. I don't know why. Look, is there any kids involved? Because let me tell you something. Kids will grow. And they will take off. On their lives. To live on their lives. Just like me and you did. You know what I mean? So don't stay in, stuck in a relationship. Because, because of a kid. You have indecisions. I think you're noticing that fact about life and you soon gonna walk away from this toxic relationship that's what you desire gemini you know i think it's gonna you're gonna do that pretty soon okay and you're gonna be so happy that you did it okay You're sacrificing a lot of things for this relationship. But you know, you're going to overcome those challenges. And you're going to acquire your freedom for new beginnings, baby. 
I like it, Gemini. I like it. I like it. I like it. You smart. Hello, my coquito puñeta. It's the best coquito in the whole wide world. <laughs> when I have my food channel, I'm going to teach you how to make my coquito. I'm just not going to tell you which liquors I put in it because I put four. Four different ones. <laughs> you know, you either get drunk or get drunk. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Drink responsibly, though. You know what I mean? So, anyways, Cancerian, what is good with you? On Thursday, January 7, 2021. Syrian, what is good with you? You have the nine of wands, <laughs> poor cards. Then you have the knight of swords. After that, you have the Three of Swords. Excuse me. And last but not least, the King of Swords. All these swords and wands. All right. <clears throat> it's not so bad. Okay. These Three of Swords, it's more about... Um, absence then heartbreak and grief i'm gonna tell you when the nine of wands is telling you you straighten the position okay the knight of swords follows as bravery okay the three of swords is standing for um absence okay you made a decision using your head over your heart so i'm assuming since the absence card is there i'm assuming that you broke up from a long-term relationship or a relationship that you felt secure in it but it wasn't working out so you made a decision using your head over your heart it takes bravery okay um for example when when i broke up with my ex-husband i was like you know i was a little scared to be by myself you know we we taking care of everything this time around it wasn't two kids it, it was you know five kids Okay, and a dog, and a turtle. <laughs> but what I'm trying to tell you is, I know that's that that part. Okay, about you know that absence of um, the emperor. You know that absence of that type of security that I had with him. Just that type of security. It wasn't all peaches and cream. That's the reason why we, we ended up breaking up. But, you know, you are getting your priorities straight, okay? You, um, you're already interested in somebody, okay? Which, that's a good sign, you know? You're not grieving about, you know... You, like I say, you're getting your priorities straight. You're working hard. Okay. 
there is gonna be some delays okay you also exploring you know your options options on what ah. I guess you got more than one suitor and you know you down to you know explore even even if he's only dating and it's not gonna work out you have harmony in your hearts okay you have peace all right that divorce is gonna go smoothly okay there was a betrayal on that relationship but it's okay you know it's okay you got out of it and you even, you know, you're even looking at which suitor you're going to start dating. Or at least, you know, giving yourself a chance to get to know anybody else, you know. That's really great. I'm happy for you, Kinsirian. Is it Kinsirian? I did Pisces twice on the home day <laughs> Check on top of the table in the kitchen. Okay. Now let's go with Leo. What's popping with my lions and lionesses? On Thursday, January 7, 2021. Leo, what is good with you? On Thursday, January 7, 2021. I got into the door. How did that happen? I, I was going to tell you something, and, and then I crashed into the door. Okay, are you stuck okay? In, stuck on Angel's cut. What? A, the shelf got stuck on Angel's cut. Oh my god! He got it off. Okay. <clears throat> Leo, you have the death card. After that, you have the Hierophant. Then you have the Seven of Cups. And last but not least, the Four of Pentacles. What is this telling me? Um, you, you broke up a marriage. You broke, you know... You broke up with somebody. You're sing you're single, okay? Um, I guess you have suitors, and you know you just um, looking at you know what choices you know the suitors that you have. You 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 taking a look at them and see which one you're gonna pick. All right. And should I say that I'm not saying that you've been stingy with your money, but I mean, you know, if you broke up with somebody and, you know, if you're a male and you, um, how you say it, if you moved out of the house, you got to save money. You got to, you know, stretch the dollar. You also working your ass off. Okay. Um... Like I say, you got suitors and, you know, <clears throat> you have your eye on somebody. You, you're going to make your decision, okay? Is it the person that you were juggling your spouse with?
this card is right here and it's telling you watch it with impulsive actions don't try to get with somebody and try to build a foundation with somebody because you because of problems with your spouse with your person you know like i know people that they break up with their wife and all of this you know right away they find somebody they move in with them and they start a relationship real quick and stuff like that <clears throat> to kind of show um the ex oh you know i'm not missing you i'm doing so good without you do it because you like the person, because you see a happily ever after with the person. Not because you want to tick off your ex because your ex broke up with you over you cheating. Okay? At the end, it doesn't work. I'm just letting you know. Okay? Now, let's go with Virgo. <clears throat> Virgo. What is good with you? On Thursday, January 7, 2020. Virgo. What is good with you? On Thursday, January 7, 2020. Virgo. What is good with you? On Thursday, January 7, 2020. I'm trying to get the vibe from that card before the other two cards come out. Are you going to be single? I hope you don't have a you, your person, your lover. I hope that person is not sick. You have the page of wands. After that, you have the two of wands. And last but not least, the fool. What is this telling me? This is telling me, okay, that this is telling me that you are single and ready to mingle. Talking about you looking ahead of you know what you want to do the new beginnings that you want to have with who that's what i'm talking about looking ahead what what did i say look i'm, I'm not lying to you i'm not lying to you looking ahead You were not happy in that relationship. You had a bitter relationship. Right here. That's what it says. You know, you... When you had a bitter relationship, you just cannot wait for the new beginnings that you're going to have after that. You're so anxious. So anxious to get to that person that you have in your mind. You are this... 
unapologetic. You cannot wait unapologetic. The marriage card. You're going to have victory with that person. I'm happy with you. Um, I was going to say Gemini. I'm very well. I'm very happy for you. You know, because after somebody doesn't treat you right. And, you know, the relationship was bitter. On top of, you know, all the bullshit that person put you through. I can sense that. You couldn't wait to breathe. You know? Libra, what is good with you? <laughs> I think this is the last time I'm going to use these cards. I know I said it a few times, but you know. The Nine of Cups is already... is worse than the King of Wands. <laughs> if you follow me and know which cards, I was like, oh my God! Yes. Libra. I Libra giving to other people. I already saw it. You know? Let's see. What is good with you? On Thursday, January 7, 2020. <sighs> You had the Queen of Cups. After that, you have the Seven of Swords. And last but not least, the King of Swords. Libra. You have a good person with you, okay? But you being very deceptive. Is that is that how you say it? Okay. You are acting making decisions head over heart. So that means you know you're doing whatever you want. You don't care if the other person finds that out and you don't care about respecting your relationship, respecting your person, respecting your person's feelings. I guess it's going to be an argument about it and you're going to be very defensive, you know. You're going to be denying and lying. It's going to cause your relationship. You're going to be single. Because you got new feelings for other people. You know? Anyways. Um, Scorpio. What is good with you? On Thursday, January 7, 2020. Scorpio, what is good with you? On Thursday, January 7, 2020. Is it three cards? It's only two. Scorpio, you have the Ten of Swords. After that, you have the Knight of Cups. Then you have the Handman. And last but not least, the Sun. What is this telling me? I guess, okay, you try to message somebody, 
you know, to to you wanted to pursue somebody, and that person is is it doesn't is not interested in you, like you interested in that person, you know, and um, you know you. You bummed out, I can say, but you not, you know, you're not so sad and depressed or nothing. Hang in there. You see him? Hang in there because, you know, you, your person is going to come. There is somebody for someone. There is always a someone for somebody. I hope I'm not saying it right, you know? Meaning, um, someday you will get somebody and you will build your family with this person. Okay? You're going to have the world with your new person. It's just not the person that you, you know, you, you, you have it in mind right now. But it doesn't mean it's never going to happen with anybody with you. You know what I mean? So hang in there. Sooner or later, you're going to stop being single. And you're going to be happy. You're going to be happy. Because, you know, you might like somebody. And that somebody, you know, maybe let you pursue them. But if the love and attention and respect is not reciprocated, you you not. How you say it? You're not winning anything. You know? All you're doing is wasting your time. Sagittarius. What is good with you? That was fast. You have the will of fortune. After that, you have the Three of Pentacles. Then you have the Eight of Swords. And last but not least, the Seven of Swords. Oh, you're so sorry. This is telling me, right, that... um. This is telling me, Sagittarius, that um, there is going to be some changes in your household. And it has something to do with somebody saying lies about you. Okay? And um, this person that is saying lies about you is, is just jealous. Jealous about your life. Jealous about your life, Sagittarius. Are you listening to me? Jealous about your life. So, you know, maybe, maybe a female is going to say that she has something to do with your spouse when she didn't. And it might cause some issues in your relationship. But, you know, at the end... She doesn't want what you have. She just doesn't want you to have it. Are you listening? That's the um, plot about the haters and jealousy. The person is toxic. Okay? But you know something? That is going to resolve. Is gonna resolve and you're not only gonna gain um, trust for that person, okay? You guys also gonna um, I don't know if it's a business that you guys have together. It's going to be prosperous more. It's going to get stronger. Okay. 
there you have it now let's go with capricorn capricorn what is good with you on thursday january 7 2020 capricorn what is good with you Kobe, don't start. On Thursday, January 7, 2020. You have strength. After that, you have the Four of Pentacles. And last but not least, the King of Cups. This is telling me, okay? There is some waters that you're going to be testing this has to do with um professional side okay and it's funny because like i said you never be, you you testing those waters you never been in that um position maybe you got erased or you start in a new job that the job description is different than what you usually you used to do it's kind of a challenge okay there is it's more responsibilities it's more responsibilities but you know what it's gonna bring more moolah and you be like you like you know i i want to make more money and you know don't worry you you're gonna be good you're gonna you know you're gonna um adapt yourself really fast okay this is the accomplishments card Look right here accomplishments so you know what like i say you're gucci you're gucci you're gucci efficiency responsibilities okay gratification comprende 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 all right right here new environment so you know like i say you're gonna be testing new waters and you are anxious you you know you're not sure but you know happiness and fulfillment my drop <laughs> i'm happy for you you know what did i tell you you anxious you know you got a little stressed out relax 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 okay everything is gonna be gucci capricorn now let's go with aquarius aquarius what is good with you on Thursday, January 7, 2020. Aquarius. What is good with you? On Thursday, January 7, 2020. I was quick. Aquarius. You have the sex and dating card. 
after that you have the strength card and last but not least the two of swords what is this telling me this is telling me that you had indecisions about somebody okay maybe you wanted to you want to date this person but you know you want to date somebody and you haven't having approach to this person to tell them how you feel about them and you are going to do it you getting the courage and strength to do it that is so nice you know has to do with romance romance romantic Ooh -wee. <laughs> so yeah um you got the wheel of fortune right here so, you are on your way, you know, root way, you're on your way to do it, okay? Mentally active, meaning, you know, you're trying to figure out how you're going to approach to this person, to have a family with this person. <laughs> Tarot don't play spirit either. Now, let's go with Pisces. Piscean, what is good with you? On Thursday, January 7, 2021. Piscean, what is good with you? On Thursday, January 7, 2020. So far, I like it. So far, I like it. By seeing, you have the Eight of Pentacles. After that, you have the Two of Pentacles. And last but not least, the Five of Wands. What is this telling me? This is telling me, okay, that you'll be working very hard, okay? You have your priorities straight, all right? Now, there is some people that be like, wait a minute, you know, Piscean is on her shit, you know, and, and they kind of worry, but you know, this is for the collective that they are, you know, so worried about this Piscean, you know, being on her shit and working hard and, you know, doing what she, doing what she do, all right, um, Pisces. Doesn't compete with anybody. She competes with herself, with themselves, okay? They're not trying to be better than anybody. They're trying to be a better version of what they were or what they are. You understand what I'm saying? Nothing but improvements, 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 okay? Infamy, you know? When you're working hard and doing something right, you know, these people talking shit about you. Excuse me. There is money coming, Piscean. There is money coming, all right? There is also, you know, vacation, you know, travel. Maybe you're going to go out of state. You know, you don't have to jump on a plane. Maybe you're going to go out of state or you're going to, you know, go 
a little far from home, you know, just to have a good time. Okay. There is the money card again over here. All right. Victory. Great news. Happiness. You know, one thing about Pisces, and I can tell you that because I'm a Pisces, you can say whatever you want about Pisces. Pisces is, is you know... They know who they be. They know who they are. They know they know what they stand for. And you know you can say whatever they want what whatever you want about them. But like I said, that's not going to affect them. They're going to continue to live their lives and be their best they can be. They don't need nobody's approval. They'll keep going unapologetic. All right. Don't try to look for the ass, for the Pisces asshole because you're going to find it. You're going to find it. And you know something? They're going to have you curl into fetus position. Sucking a <coughs> Collective. What is good with you? On Thursday, January 7, 2020. You have the devil. Can you pick that up, please? Okay. After that, you have the death. I feel like, I, I feel like I'm going to throw up. Well, stand still. And you're going to eat cookies on top of that, please. Go eat cookies over there. If you throw up, you throw up over there. You don't throw up in, in, in top of my bed. The magician in reverse. Then you have the nine of pentacles. And last but not least, the two of swords. I'm going to tell you something, collective. Whatever you're doing, is it the alcohol or, you know, drugs? It's, it's just, um, it, you cannot think straight. Meaning you cannot, um, it's blocking. It's blocking. For you to have accomplishments, okay, and you have indecisions, you 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 just you know, um, weed is not for everybody. Alcohol is not for everybody. Drugs are definitely not good. No bueno. Okay, so you need to make these changes. You need to, um, they're not letting you, they're not, they are preventing you for you to reach your highest good. Okay, my loves. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by. God bless you. I hope you have a nice Thursday. Feliz Navidad again. And see you next time. Bye.